factoring trinomials. Here we have a selection of 10 trinomials we're going to factor. Some I'll do for you first, others you can do. So we're going to zoom in and take a look at the first few together. A. We're going to factor this trinomial. A trinomial is a polynomial with three terms into a product of two binomials. Now we have to figure out what could go in here so that when we FOIL it, we get x squared plus 10x plus 9. First part's easy. Always do the easy part first. x times x would give us x squared. Now we have to find out what would multiply to give us 9 while adding to give us 10. It's a pretty obvious one, but I'm going to go through with the easy problem how we know the details for the problems where it's more difficult. We know this is a positive 9, which means this must be a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Now if it's a negative times a negative, you'll never get a positive 10 there. So it is a positive and a positive. 1 times 9 would give us 9. 3 times 3 would also give us 9. But let's try 1 times 9. Now this is not an answer until we've verified it. So we FOIL this. x times x is x squared plus 9x plus 1x is 10x. And 1 times 9 is 9. So that is the correct answer. Let's take a look at problem B. Once again, let's do the easy part first. A times A would give us A squared. We need two numbers that multiply to give us a positive 20 and add to give us a negative 9. They have to both be positive or both be negative. But they can't be one of each because a positive times a negative will not give us a positive 20. So I'm thinking negative and negative. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 plus 5 is 9. Let's guess that it's 5 and 4. It's only a possible answer until I verify it. A times A is A squared. Minus 5A minus 4A is minus 9A. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. That's the correct answer. Problem C, a slight variation because of the signs. Once again, the easy part first. Y times y will give us y squared. Here we need to multiply and get a negative 21. The only way to multiply and get a negative is a positive times a negative. So I'm going to say positive times negative. 21, it's either 21 times 1 or 7 times 3. Now 7 and 3 work really well to get you that 4 if one of the two is positive and the other is negative. I'm thinking 3 and 7 because 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Once again, it's only a possible answer until you work it out. y times y is y squared. Minus 7y plus 3y is negative 4y. Positive 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And we have the correct answer. Now let's try D and E. I'll do those without narration. See if you can follow along.
follow those? Now let's take a look at the other side. F, G, and H. Can you pause the video and give those three a try on your own? Let's see how you did on these. Well, we know x times x is going to give us the x squared. It's got to be either positive and positive or negative and negative to give you that. And this tells me they're both positive. 15. 15 is 3 times 5. And 8 is 3 plus 5. So I'm thinking 3 and 5. It's only a possible answer until I've checked it out. x times x, x squared, plus 5x plus 3x gives us the 8x that we're looking for. And positive 3 times positive 5 gives us positive 15. That's the answer. Let's try g. Remembering that that is a 1y in there. y times y would give us y squared. Now in order to get a negative 12, it's going to have to be a positive times a negative. There are several ways to get 12 when you're multiplying. 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 3 times 4. But I'm going to go for the 3 and the 4. And if the 4 is positive, the 3 is negative, I think that'll work. Let's see. y times y is y squared. Minus 3y plus 4y is a positive 1y. And a positive 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12. And we're correct. Now let's try h. Well, once again, x times x will give us x squared. We have a negative 22. That's going to have to be a positive times a negative. 22, we can multiply and get 22 either 2 times 11 or 22 times 1. And I like the 2 times 11 because 11 minus 2 is 9 or 2 minus 11 is negative 9. And I think it's going to be the positive 2 and the negative 11 because 2 minus 11 is negative 9. Now this is only a possible answer until we've verified it. x times x is x squared. x times negative 11 is negative 11x plus 2x is negative 9x and positive 2 times negative 11 is negative 22. Exactly what we wanted. Now, pause the video again and try these last two problems. Well, now that you've done those on your own, let's try them together and see how you did. b times b would have to give us b squared. To multiply and get a negative 5, well, 5 is a prime number. It's going to have to be 1 and 5, and one of those two is have to, has to be positive. The other has to be negative. So I'm thinking 5 minus 1 would give us 4. Let's see if this possible answer works out. b times b is b squared. Minus 1b plus 5b does give us 4b. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And that answer works. Now j, the last one. x times x will give us x squared. We need a positive and a negative to get a negative 11 there. And I'm thinking 11's prime number, 11 times 1. 11 minus 1 is 10, so 11 and negative 1. Once again, it's only a potential answer until we've checked it out.
x times x is x squared minus 1x plus 11x. Negative 1x plus 11x is positive 10x, just like we need. And positive 11 times negative 1 is negative 11. And we can be certain that that's the correct answer.